today we are making a video on debian 13 trexy as you can see on the boot menu it says codename as a trexy the codename for the uh, 13 debian is a uh, trexy so this is a boot menu of uh, debian 13 so the kernel version is a 6.3.7.1 or dash one so this is a mad desktop environment so let's quickly boot it in a live boot so I already made a videos on Debian 13 Trixie with almost every desktop environment. Today I already made a video of Debian 13 XFCE Trixie version, XFCE desktop environment. So right now we are making a mad desktop environment. So I already made videos on GNOME and the KDE Plasma. And I think it's a Cinnamon. All the three. Now it's almost like a five desktop environments of Debian 13. So as you can see it says as a Debian 12 because uh, Debian 12 was released a few days ago. So that's the reason you, you should be seeing like a Debian 12. This was the same case in uh, while we are make while we are like uh, making a video on like a Debian 12 uh, ISO file of a development branch. Uh, it was saying like a Debian 11. So this is the same uh, thing will be happening in a Debian 13 Trixie also. That's the uh, common thing will happen. So the numbers will change uh, after like a uh, almost like a uh, after a few days of uh, almost like 70% of Debian 13 completion of work. You should be seeing like a, a new wallpaper and the numbers you should be changed like a uh, Debian 13 from Debian 12. So this is a testing ISO file or the development ISO file. We, only if you want to test it, you can test it. So if you are a normal user, it's a better idea to stay away with it because. Uh, I love to try, try the new uh, Linux distro or the upcoming Linux distro. That's the reason I'm making a video. So I'm running it on like a virtualization with a VMware with 80 GB of hard disk, 4 GB of RAM and with the two processors. And my CPU is like a i5 12th gen. So here we see a mouse pointer and this is a mad desktop environment. So let's see what are the changes. We don't see a major or a maxima uh, most of the changes here because uh, Debian 12 was released few days ago. That's the reason. So here it is the mad desktop environment. So let's change the display resolution first. Let's go to the system preference hardware displays. My monitor is like a 1920 into 1080 with a 16 is to 9 ratio. So let's change to that. So I already made a videos of uh, Debian 13 uh, KDE desktop environment, Cinnamon, XFCE, GNOME, and right now a uh, Mat and XFCE also. So these are all the XF, uh, Debian 13 uh, Trixie videos I already made. Uh, those are all available in my channel. If you want to check that out, you can check that out after watching this video. So let's close this thing and open the system monitor first so that we can see how much of resources are go using by the Debian 13 Trexy ISO uh, Trexy version. So as you can see, it says a release Trexy and uh, SID because it's a development branch. Uh, the name for the development ISO file is like a SID. It's a 64-bit IIS file. And the kernel right now is like a 6.3.0 and the mad desktop environment is like a 1.26.1. So this is the hardware, uh, 4GB of RAM, 12 Gen i5, 1240p is my CPU. Graphics is here. Available disk space is zero space, it says, but uh, 80GB of hard disk I choose for my VMware. So let's go to the process. These are all the process running right now. Let's go to the resources. Let's run until like a 60 seconds and see how much uh, resources it will consume. Let's change the color so you can see properly. Let's change it to green. File system about 1.26.0. So as you can see, there is no stable graph. Uh, just uh, like a few 20 to 30 seconds. That's it. And we have again the high peak here. So let's uh, make it smaller and keep it aside throughout the video. So you should be having an idea of uh, how much of resources will uh, it consume throughout the video. So I'm going to keep it like this in the 
background so we should be working on everything and we should be seeing how much of resources it consumes throughout the video let's open the terminal of the mad desktop environment let's check the version here is the version let's type in the commands like a inxi it's not found no problem let's type in other commands so it says a debian new linux trex is said so let's see the kernel version also already saw but let's uh, type in in the command neofetch is not installed so it doesn't say like that anything command not found let's type in hstop hstop is also not found so let's exit this thing let's go to the installer cpu is almost like a 90 percent 100 percent we didn't open anything just uh, like a installer that's it ram is almost like a 1 gb right now and again you should be seeing like a debian 12 bookworm because i already mentioned that uh, debian 12 was released few days ago most of the things should be like a debian 12 wallpaper all the things these are all the things will uh, these things all will uh, change after uh, uh, almost like a few days a few days after like uh, uh, debian 13 uh, almost the completion of work you should be seeing like uh, after like a uh, maybe a month and uh, two months after like this i guess you should be seeing like a debian 13 trixi in the installer and you should be seeing a debian 13 wallpaper also in the coming days so first you need to choose the uh, language again this is the same installation style or the same installer uh, from almost every linux system so there is nothing complicated in uh, installing this thing so again this is a development iso file or an unstable iso file so it's better to uh, use this or test it in the virtual machine so it didn't uh, it don't uh, crash anything or ruin your pc don't use it on your main piece of work pc so that's the reason i'm warning you again and again so let's click on ok first you need to choose your uh, language click on next you should choose your location you don't need to provide your actual location you can provide anything here you can customize uh, some of the options here if you want to click on next after choosing everything a uh, keyboard model you can pro choose your keyboard model here or you can just type it or test it here choose your language again here i'm choosing english united states click on next uh, here is the main part and the uh, important part you need to choose your first hard disk uh, if you are choosing like a virtual box vm uh, vmware you should be seeing uh, that here so if you are using in your uh, uh, work piece or main pc you should be seeing like a uh, that hard disk so be careful don't use it on your main pc or work pc use it on like a virtualization or maybe a pc which you don't use as for work so that's the reason so if you choose the ls disk option it's going to delete the current operating system and it's going to delete all the files which are available in the hard disk and it's going to install the debian 13 trick c uh, mad desktop environment so be careful while choosing this option if you choose the manual partitioning it, it gives like an option like a dual operating system you need to provide a partition before that so this is a dual operating system and a single boot uh, that's a clear thing you, uh, you, i can say here so if you want to encrypt your system you can encrypt by providing the password which should be same in the both the boxes and you choose you, you need to choose like a bootloader location here so the automatic one is the best if you're a normal user just keep it like that so if you are a pro and if you already know how to do that you can choose the system partition or do not install a bootloader you can do that later so it's clearly up to you to customize everything here so after that click on next you need to provide your username and password here try to remember everything here or write down the password and username so it will it should be a good idea so you need to provide everything here if everything is going good you should be seeing a tick mark uh, beside the boxes so if you do anything wrong you should be seeing like a into mark or x mark so there should you should be having an idea uh, of everything is going good or not here so after that you can uh, click on next and here is the summary of what are all the options you choose in the previous installation steps if everything is going good you just need to click on install just uh, clearly see everything what you choose here language location everything keyboard 
partitions all the things so if everything is good you just need to click on install it's going to take like a 5 to 10 minutes depends on your pc if you have a good end pc you should be like a 2 to 3 minutes if you have a low end pc it should took it should take like ages to install so if the iso file is also stable uh, it should be very quick and uh, it's a development branch so it should take uh, more time than that so that's the installation process of uh, debian 13 trixy mad desktop environment so let's open like a uh, 5 to 10 apps and see how good the uh, linux distro will handle and the mad desktop environment will handle so let's open the some of the apps like a calculator Mama text editor take a screenshot i guess let's open that app also under the education we don't have anything let's open the app let's open the game let's even open the library office uh, draw under the internet let's open the firefox web browser under the office let's open actual document viewer mad dictionary under the sound and audio you don't have anything let's open the only sound app under the system tools the file manager and what else we have like a disk case usage user analyzer sorry i'm a bit of tired i didn't have any coffee like that anything so that's the reason i'm stuttering a bit so i think we opened everything i guess i think that's good to see the cpu is almost like a hundred percent and you should be seeing uh, like a cpu will go down under like a 40 percent after a few seconds or few minutes because this thing happened in every uh, desktop environment of a uh, debian 13 trixie because i made like a xfc video a kde video and a cinnamon and gnome version all the apps uh, and all the uh, system resources went to like a 40 percent after uh, all the apps opened so right now you should also see like a 40 percent or 50 percent like 40 to 60 percent is a, a bit common in every desktop environment uh, for debian 13 trixie so it's already going down so just we need to wait for a few seconds and uh, it should will go it, should, it will be going down so the memory is almost like a 2 gb under the memory it's uh, still good but cpu is still on the 100 percent so let's wait for a few seconds so let's check the versions of the apps instead of waiting just for that gimp is 2.10.34 so the mad desktop environment is not going down it's uh, staying under the 100 percent and the cpu 2 is like a 16 percent so no problem let's uh, close the thing so the uh, firefox web browser version is like a 102.13 esr 64 bit so if you want as you can see the cpu went down right now and cpu2 is uh, high no problem let's uh, type in the this is my channel url if you want to check other videos of uh, debian 13 you just need to type in youtube.com forward slash 9 to file index it will take directly to my channel i'm using a vpn that's the reason it pop up so if you want a debian 13 videos just type in the search term debian 13 in my channel and you should be seeing the debian 13 all the videos as you can see i made a kde plasma i already made like a linux mint 21.2 videos also mx23 rc2 all the videos are here so if you want to check that out you can check that out i'll be posting like a two videos daily without missing any day so already a video is available of a debian 13 uh, xfc i'm uploading right now so let's check the version of the apps and end the video so 1.26.0 disk usage analyzer golden dictionary i guess let's check the version here is the version file manager which is saja or kaja whatever it is 1.26.1 hatchel document viewer 1.26.0 
Luma 1.26.0. Let's type in something, for example, my channel URL. Let's type in like a subscribe. If you want to subscribe, you can. If you don't want, it's clearly up to you. Let's close this thing also. Close without saving. Here is the calculator version. Almost every app should be having a version of 1.26.0 because the MAD desktop environment version is 1.26.1. So the, all the apps should be having the same uh, version. So I think we covered everything, I guess. Dictionary version is here. So we don't have anything left here. So we just have a library office. Let's check the version. Library office version is a 7.4.5.1. Let's close even this thing. So there is no desktop uh, wallpapers available right now. Just the uh, same basic wallpapers which were available in the Debian 12 bookworm. So the Debian 12 bookworm was not released uh, a lot of days ago. So you should be seeing all the same uh, wallpapers here. So if you want to customize fonts, interface and theme, you can do that here. So I think that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. It helps make a good content for you. Other than that, I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace out. So let's shut it down. The down option will be available here. Shut down.